الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله من الله سبحانه وتعالى إنكريس إن all of us knowledge السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ بدن سسٹرز دی ارلی مارننگ ڈرل اوکی لائک ا ملٹری ہوا ہما ہم یا ہما ہن انتا انتما انتم انتی انتما انتن انا نحن ہوا ہما ہم یا ہما ہن انتا انتما انتم انتی انتما انتن انا نحن ہوا ہما ہم ہیا ہما ہن انتا انتما انتم انتی انتما انتن انا نحن ما شاء اللہ نو دا سیم تنگ وی ویل اپلائی تو آور وربز ان دا سیکونس دوئنگ آل دا تنگز ان سیکونس ان شاء اللہ ویل میک ایڈ ایزی فار اس This is the foundation and you will see later on how helpful it is to us, you know. Kataba. Do you remember the conjugation? Uh, Inshallah. Ready? Kataba. Kataba. Katabu. Katabat. Katabata. Katabna. Katabta. کتبتما کتبتم کتبتی کتبتما کتبتن کتبتو کتبنا ریڈی؟ آر یو ریڈی؟ ہوا کتبا ہیا کتبت ہم کتبو ہن کتبنا سی آل دیس تنگز ای وانت دیت ایف وی پریکٹس ایوری دی ویدن ویک اور ٹو ویکس ایف ویل کم تو یو Very fast and automatically. Okay, brothers and sisters. Ana kataptu. Anta katapta. Antum kataptum. Anti katapti. Nahnu katabna. Inshallah. We'll practice. Okay. Ready? Next one. Kharaja. Okay. خرج خرج خرجو خرجت خرجتا خرجنا خرجتا خرجتما خرجتم خرجتی خرجتما خرجتنا خرجتو خرجنا نحن خرجنا انا خرجت انت خرجتا انتی خرجتی انتم خرجتم هو خرج هي خرجت هم خرجوا هن خرجنا see right now you have to think but inshallah it will come very fast to you 
will get used to it, right? inshallah. But don't you find a little more comfortable now than last week? Yes. You will get better and better, inshallah. Okay. Zahaba. These are the verbs which will come in the... Uh, these, were, these will come. Huh? And then I'll write, let me write down. Jalasa and Raja. Huh? These are the verbs will come in that lesson. And remember one thing. Whenever there is a fiel, there is a file. Huh? If I say kharashtu, tu is the file. And file is always marfu. So tu is marfu. Not because of dhamma. But it is marfu. For example, if I say kharashta, where is the file? Ta. No, ta has a fata. But it is marfu. Because all, all the files are Marfu, always marfu. You will remember this rule. All the files are marfu. Now when the file is with the verb, those are pronouns. What are they? Pronouns. That is why we practice hua huma hum. These are pronouns. So when you say kharashtu, the file is ana. When you say kharajna, the file is nahnu. In the form of na. When I say kharashta, the file is anta. In the form of ta. Are you with me? So ta is a damir which equals to anta. Sahi? And they are all marfu. Huh? They are all. I will be repeating to so inshallah. You will be comfortable. Ready, brother? Zahaba. 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 Zahabu. Zahabat. Zahabata. Zahabna. Zahabta. Zahabtuma. Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. Hiya, Zahabat. Hua, Zahaba. Hum, Zahabu. Hunna, Zahabna. Anta, Zahabta. Anti, Zahabti. Nahnu, Zahabna. Nahnu, Zahabna. Ana, I have to. I'm going to give you from in between. No sequence. Huh? Inshallah, you'll get stronger. Next one, brother. Jalasa, Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna, Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastun, Jalastu, Jalasna. Huh? Are you with me? Antum jalastum, anti jalasti, hum jalasu, hua jalasa, hiya jalasat, ana jalastu, nahnu jalasna. Mashallah. Next one, brother. Raja'a. Ready? Raja'a, raja'a, raja'u, raja'at, raja'ata. Rajana, Rajata, Rajatuma, Rajatum, Rajati, Rajatuma, Rajatunna, Rajatu, Rajana. MashaAllah. What is the meaning of Raja? He returned. What is the meaning of Jalasa? He sat. What is the meaning of Zahaba? He went. Kharaja, he went out. You know, left or exited. And Kataba, he wrote. Akala, he ate. Shariba, he drank. Huh? Okay? These are the, you know, you'll always remember the root verb in the root form. It is he did something. He is always there. Huh? In Arabic language, the root goes to he did something in the past tense. Okay? Ready? Now, you know, I always joke with uh, students, you know, that... <coughs> When you start jalasa, it means you are sitting in your car in the garage. The door opens, you drive your car out and then into the street. So we are very careful about children. But the highway 407 is very close to you. Okay? So you start with jalasa. Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, 
Jalasata. As soon as you come to Hunna, you are on the ramp of 407. Are you with me? Because everything is same after that. Huh? Everything is same. Huh? Jealous, jealous, jealous. And you see, when you are on, on 407, when you are there, there are no cops. So there are no speed limits. You can drive very fast. Okay? So you come to Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna. Jalasna, Jalasna, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastuna, Jalastu, Jalasna. You can go very fast. Okay, you know why? The files are, what are the files? Ta tumatum, ti tumatunna, tuna. What is it, brother? Ta tuma tum, ti tuma tum, tu na. So you can, you know, everything remains same. Jalasta, jalastuma, jalastum, jalasti, jalastuma, jalastunna, jalastu, jalasna. Huh? So it's easy, you know. And I had brother students who would say so fast in the class. Sister say, hey, hold on. We don't know where you are going. <laughs> we want to understand, you know. Inshallah, you'll become very strong and very fast, okay. Now, brothers and sisters, we did mudah mudafilehi. Are you with me? And then we did, I will just write down quickly, huwa huma, hum, here, huma, hunna, brother. And then I'll write down anta, antuma, antum, and Anti, Antuma, Antunna. Huh? And then, Ana, and Nahnu. Now see, these Damair, Damir singular, Damair plural, these Damair, brothers and sisters, they are called detached pronouns. What are they called? Detached, detached pronouns. Damirun. Munfasilun, but if you do not remember Munfasilun, just remember detached. And they are always marfu. Huh? Now, you know, every noun has three cases marfu, mansub, and majrur. So, what is the. F this is marfu. So, what is mansub and majrur? They undergo change, but then remain that, that way all the time. So, what is who becomes? Who? Huh? Are you with me? I'm repeating this and Huma remains Huma. Don't ask me why. I didn't do it. Okay? That's the way the language is. Hum remains Hum. And then here goes to Ha. Mashallah. Huh? Alhamdulillah, you remember. Huma remains Huma. And then Hunna remains Hunna. Huh? And then Anta becomes Ka. Huh? Anta becomes so whether anta is damir, ka is damir, what is the difference? Brother Hassan, what is the difference? This is detached pronoun and it is marfu. And these are attached pronouns and they can be majroor or mansub. Same, but they are attached. They never come on their own. Huh? They will always be attached. Are you with me? So here are uh, detached, uh, brothers and sisters. These are detached. I'll just put them in a circle. Uh, uh, these are detached and they are always marfu. You have to remember this. Uh, marfu, mansu, majrur. Dhun, dan, din, we will always think. Uh, always, always. Okay. And then, brothers and sisters, these are attached pronouns. Ka and then Kuma and then Kum and then Ki Kuma Kunna and then what is then brother? Ya Mutakalim. You call it? Ya Mutakalim. The Ya of the person who speaks. It represents the person who speaks. And then Nahnu becomes Na. If you are strong enough, in this, I will, inshallah, quote an ayat at the end of the day. Huh? Are you with me? 
One more time. Detached pronouns huh, are all marfu. Huh? And then those pronouns have a form when they are majroor and mansur. And at, at the same time they become attached pronouns. Are you with me? Is it simple? Is it clear, inshallah? Huh? Attached. So, if I say to you, Kitabu Muhammadin. Are you with me, brother? What is it? Mudaf, book of Muhammad. What, are, what is this, brother? Mudaf, Mudafili. How do I say his book? Kitabu who? See, who joined? Who is joined? Because it is attached. So, Muhammadin is Majroor. So, who is now? Majroor. Huh? Who is now? Majroor, Sahih. Huh? Are you with me? Kitabu who? So, what is who now? Mudafilehi. And mudafile is majroor. Why there is a dhamma there? Because it is mabni. It is fixed. Okay? Kitabuhu. That's why I say to you, when the pronoun joins a noun, it becomes mudaf, mudafile. Remember this, brother. Huh? When the pronoun joins a noun, huh? we get Mudaf and Mudaf all the time. So now let us try and uh, do the 14. We will practice and we will get stronger and strong. Ready? Kitabuhu, Kitabuhuma, all join. Huh? Kitabuhum, Kitabuha, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhunna, Kitabuka, Kitabukuma. Kitabu kum, kitabu ki, kitabu kuma, kitabu kunna, and then kitabi, and then kitabu na, kitabu na. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, we say, you can use them with anything now. Take any noun and put pronoun and make into mudaf, mudafile. Okay, baitu. Baituhu. His house. House of his. Baituhuma. Always say, huh, brother, participate in the class. It's good for you. Your tongue will get used to the pronunciation. Don't, don't sit, you know, quiet. Participate, brother. Kitabuhu. Kitabuhuma. Kitabuhum. Kitabuha. Kitabuhuma. Kitabuhunna. Kitabuka. Kitabu kuma, kitabu kum, kitabu ki, kitabu kuma, kitabu kunna, kitabi, kitabu na. So it's easy. Very soon you will become very fluent, inshallah. Now one more, inshallah. Kalamu. Ready? Kalamu hu, kalamu huma, kalamu hum, kalamu ha, kalamu huma, kalamu hunna. Kalamu ka, kalamu kuma, kalamu kum, kalamu ki, kalamu kuma, kalamu kunna, kalami, kalamu na. Mashallah, kalami, kalamu na. Very good. Okay. Now, I want to go a little deeper, but I will leave it now. Because I want to do now, I want to do prepositions. Huh? What happens when the pronoun joins a preposition. The result is jar majroor. Huh? So if I have min, huh, brother? and then I put who, what becomes? Min who. Huh? It becomes min who. It becomes min who. Ready? Uh, min hu, min huma, min hum, min ha, min huma, 
من هن منك منكما منكم منك منكما من كنا مني منا ما شاء الله you got the idea brother let's do rab rabbuhu rabbuhuma rabbuhum rabbuha rabbuhuma rabbuhunna rabbuka rabbukuma rabbukum rabbuki rabbukuma rabbukunna rabbi rabbuna see you read all this in the quran but you never realize that they are no moda moda tumhe i tricked you huh? i was doing jar majrur and then i brought rabbu rabbu is a noun you see i have experienced with uh, my you know teaching in last 6 years that if i do all these things before and when the lesson comes it's easier to understand if we were to do lesson first then all these things will come you may say what is going on here but now when we will read the lesson you will have no difficulty inshallah so you will have no difficulty huh? so rabbuhu remember it is in the quran all the time you know now min who we did brother and then i told you you know that sometimes if there is a kasra before the pronoun are you with me or if there is a ya with a sukun before the pronoun then they change five of them which are those five huwa huma hum and then huma and hunna these change for phonetic reasons you know they sound sweeter if you give them a kasra there is no grammar rule huh? for example brothers and sisters here is a harf jar what is this ila now right now there are no two doubt dots actually it is hamza lam and ya right now we say ila it's pronounced as alif but as soon as you attached who to it then it, it opens up the ya becomes visible so it becomes ilai now if i say ilai who see look at the way you make your mouth you know muscles in your mouth ilai who it takes extra effort and even also it doesn't sound nice to the ear so who became now pronounce ilaihi it you can pronounce with ease you know see that's the, how beautiful the language is how logical things are in arabic language huh? ilaihi okay are you with me same thing will be ala another preposition when you put who into it it will open up and it will become alai now what will happen alaihi so if you start with il ila what will happen now ilaihi ilaihima ilaihim ilaiha ilaihima ilaihin only in five okay brother do it again ilaihi ilaihima ilaihim ilai ha no change ilai hima ilai hinna okay this will change into he 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 and he huh? i'm circling the dhamma it is out Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Try to do it now, brother. Ela, elai he, elai hema, elai him, elai ha, elai hema, elai hinna. Is there any grammar change? No. There is no change because of the grammar. No. They are still mabni. We change it because it's easier to pronounce. 
And then, Ileika, Ileikuma, Ileikum, Ileiki, Ileikuma, Ileikunna, and then Ileya. Huh? And I'll again explain why it became Ileya. Huh? And then Ileina. Huh? Okay. Allah. Let's do it Allah. Huh? Alayhi, Alayhima, Alayhim, Alayha, Alay. No, we are doing Alay. Alay, Hima, Alay, Hinna. And then Alayka, Alaykuma, Alaykum, Alayki, Alaykuma, Alaykunna, Alayya, and Alayna. Brothers and sisters, what did we do? We did Jarun. Wa majru. You remember that, huh? Jarun wa majru. Okay, fine, brother. Okay, now let's do B. Harf jar B, which means with. We use it, Bismillah, so that is harf jar. Huh? B, okay. So, what will happen, brother? Here is a B plus who? Because there is a kasara now. Huh? So, it will become B huh? he. It, it became B he. No, brother. Jarun wa majru. Don't worry. Beginning, we will get mixed up. It is Jarun wa majru. Okay, brother and sister. Bihi. So, ready? Bihi. Bihima. Bihim. Biha. Normal. Bihima. Bihinna. And then, Bika. Bikuma, Bikum, Biki, Bikuma, Bikunna, B, and then Bina. Tere Bina kya jiyenge. <laughs> okay, brother. Okay. So, brother, remember, here I always say it sounds like one word, B, but actually there are two words in it. One is Ya Mutakalam and one is Harfchar. So if you divide it, brothers and sisters, so B is with and me, with me. Huh? So we will always remember this, huh, brother. Always remember this. Okay? Fine. Now we come to fee. Huh? Now fee, how do we write fee, brothers and sisters? What is on ya? No. This is not Yamuta Kalama, this is Arfja. What is, what is, see, there's a Kasra on Fa. So what is on Ya, brothers and sisters? Sukun. So if there's a Sukun and you bring who, it will become? Fihi. You know why it is Fihi. You, you read it in the Quran all the time. Fihi and Fiha. But why Fihi and not Fihi? Fi who? No, try. You, when you go home today, go home and stay in front of the mirror and say fi who? And then say fi he. See, look at your face. Huh? It's easier to say fi he instead of fi who. Huh? Okay? So it became fi he. Fihi. Huh, brother? Ready? Fihi. Fihima. Fihim. Fiha. Fihima. Fihinna. Fika. Fikuma. Fikum. Fiki. Fikuma. Fikunna. Fiya. MashaAllah. Huh? Two yas. Fiya and then Fina. Huh? She always you hear this. Barakalau Fika. Barakalau Fi Ki. Barakalau Fi Kum. What is this Fi Kum Fika Fi Ki? These are our Jar Majur. Jar Majur. Okay, now let us uh, come to the base rule, brothers and sisters. I'm writing here. Elay. Huh? Because I want to attach it. A pronoun to it. So I attach ya mutakalam. There are two ya, sukun. We cannot pronounce them. 
So then, there's a rule in Arabic that if before ya mutakallam, another ya comes, or even an alif comes, then this will change into fatah. No, we will not talk about alif, because it comes in book three. It comes in book three. So when it comes, inshallah, we'll study. But now, brothers and sisters, there's a ya with a sukun, and ya with a fatah. What should we do now? Shatta. So it will become? It will become? See, do you see I'm putting Hamzatul Kata all the time? You got to. You got to get rid of your habit of putting only Kasra. If it is Hamzatul Kata, make it Hamzatul Kata. Because otherwise, this habit will bother you. When you go for higher studies or if you will go to university to take a proper courses, this will become a handicap for you. So I will put now Ilai Ya. What is the meaning of Ilai Ya? To me. Huh? To me. Huh? Okay. Same way, brothers and sisters, I'm running out of space. Fi with a sukun. Huh? And then Ya Mutakalim with a sukun. Two Ya's. So what happens? I put a, first I put a fata. Huh? First I put a fata, and then I join them together, and then it becomes fi ya. Are you with me? You will remember this, inshallah. Huh? It comes in the Quran. Alayya, ilayya comes in the Quran, and we will be studying these verses. Huh? Okay. Now, brother and sister, we take zarf. Zarf is easy. There are no problems in zarf. Okay. In the, okay, in the has the meaning of with or at, huh? so put who in with that, huh? in the who, no changes, in the huma, in the whom, in the ha, in the huma, in the hunna, in the ka, in the kuma, in the kum. In the ki, in the kuma, in the kunna, and then in the, and then in the na. Okay. Now another zarf, knife zarf, brother. It will come in the lesson, and that is <coughs> ma'a. What is it, brother? Ma'a. Ma'ahu. Ma'ahuma. Ma'ahum. Maha, Mahuma, Mahuna, Maka, Makuma, Makum, Maki, Makuma, Makuna, Mai, Mana. So if you write down Mai, brothers and sisters, how many words are there? How many? Two. Two. Uh, you know, this is one word. The kasra came because ya pulls it down. Uh, so this is zarf. And what is the next one? Ya mutakalam, pronoun. So mudafili. When you say indahu, what is the combination? Zarf and mudafili. When you say indahum, zarf and mudafili. Are you with me? Is it clear, brother? Inshallah. Now, having said this, I, we will practice a little bit more, brother. Arfjar, li, for, or belongs to, hazal kalamu lil mudarris. This pen belongs to the mudarris. Hazal kalamu, brothers and sisters. Azal kalamu, huh? and then lil mudarisi, huh? lil mudarisi. Okay. What is haza? Muptada. What is al kalamu? Badal. Got the idea? Badal. Huh? And what is lil mudaris? Jar majrur, shibu jumla, khabar. Sahi. Now it is li is harfchar. 
Hazal Kitabu Li Muhammadin. This book belongs to Muhammad. So it will become Li Muhammadin. Remember, it is Li. Now, let us join Li uh, with who? What did you say? Why did you say love? Because that's the way it is. You know? It li will change into la. When will, when will it change to la? When you have pronouns coming to it. Are you with me, brother? It's very easy. I was fascinated by these things. You know, because they are so beautiful. When you understand, you can straight go to the Quran and figure it out. Huh? Okay, brother? Li plus who became? Lahu. Huh, sister? Uh, Salma. So, what happened here? That this kasra went into Fatah. Okay, but it's, it is still Jar and Majroor. It is still Jar or Majroor. Where is Jar? Li. Where is Isam Majroor? Who? Huh? Attached pronoun. Are you with me? So, brother starts. Lahu, Lahuma, Lahum, Laha, Lahuma, Lahunna, and then Laka, Lakuma, Lakum, Laki, Lakuma, Lakunna, Li. All the time comes in the Quran, Li, and then Lana. Only time. Ya Mutakalim brought it down. Huh? Ya Mutakalim is very stubborn, brother. Always me, me, me. It brought it down. But when it comes to Nahnu, it becomes Lana. Let us do it again. Is everybody comfortable? Or shall I write it? Shall I write it? Okay, I will write it. Because I want you to be, you know, absolutely... Uh, Clear. No, but everything is in your handout. All these things are in your handout. And I can show you a page number. 11. 11. They are all there. Okay, open the page number 11. Huh? But then, you will keep handout handy on your table. And you will keep your textbook and that key book. Huh? All these things always should be in front of you. So that we can switch uh, very quickly. So I'm not writing because it is there. Okay. But because we are doing video, I will also write it, inshallah. Okay, brother. Lahu and then Lahuma and then Lahum and then Laha and then Lahuma and then La. Lahunna. Lahunna. Okay, and then Laka. And then Lakuma. Huh? Lakum. Then I'll write down here. Laki. Laki. Huh? Laki. And then Lakuma. And then Lakunna. Then I'm going to write down with red so that it stands out. Li. And then, brother? Lana. Huh? Lana. Now tell me one thing. When you come across Li, huh? Sounds so very simple, Li. Huh? Huh? Most of the Chinese names have Li there. Huh? Okay. They are not Jar Majuru. Huh? <laughs> okay. Li, how many words? Two. You have to remember that. Huh? You have to remember. See, we go deep. How many words, Sister Fatima? Two. Tell me what are they? One is half Jar. Uh, and the next one is Ya Mutakallim. What will you say? Yeah. Get used to Ya Mutakallim. Huh? What is Ya Mutakallim? Pronoun. 
What is Yamut Akalim? Pronoun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Is it clear? Fatima, inshallah. Hmm? Sister Faiza, inshallah. Sister Maimuna, is it clear, inshallah? Where is Aisha? Okay. I hope you are showing her, inshallah. Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is, uh, uh, you, you can lo look into your uh, uh, handout, page 11. Now I go to something else, brothers and sisters. I have to now take you somewhere else. To Muhammadin. Kita bu Muhammadin. And then I put fi here. What will happen now? Fi kitabi Muhammadin. Fi kitabi Muhammadin. What is fi? Harf chair. What is kitabi? Ism majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilay. Fine, brother. Now I am doing something else. Kitabu hu. Now I say fi. Or you can put any preposition. Huh? Any preposition will do the same thing that fi will do. What is fi, brother, here doing? Fi kitabi hi. See, it change. So fi made the kitab majroor kitabi. And who is still a damir? It is mudafilehi. But for the sake of pronouncing nicely, we change into kitabihi. No change because of grammar. It is just phonetics, brother. How will you analyze, brother? Fi. Harja. Kitabi. Isam majroor. Wahua mudaf. And who? And he? Mudafile. You got the idea? Sister Fatima? Again I say, what is fi? Harfcha. What is kitabi? Ism majur. Wa huwa? Mudaf. And where is mudaf ilayhi? He. He. Because it is a pronoun. Sahi? It is a pronoun. Okay. Very good. Now, I say to you, what is this brother? In the who? What is in the zarf? What is who? Mudafili. And in the is zarf. And what is who? Mudafili. Now watch what I am doing. Min. From. What will happen? Min. In the. See? Your mind will, inshallah, become used to it. Men in the he. It's in the Quran. Men in the he. Huh? Men, and then it will become in the, and then will change into. Huh? Uh, okay. But if I say in the ha and put men, Let me write it down. Let me write it down. In the ha. In the ha. Now, I put men here. In the ha. It, ha doesn't change. Remember? Men in the ha. Huh? Because the changes were only huh? in five, not in ha. Huh? And these are these are dhamir ghayab. Huh? These are third person pronouns. The changes come in third person pronouns, but only in five. It doesn't affect ha. We can pronounce ha with with a kasra before it or dhamma before it or fata before it. There is no problem. So you will say min endi ha. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No.
What is this? Tahtahu. Huh? What is Tahta? Under him. Huh? What is Tahta? Under him. What is the grammatical value of this? Tahta zar. And who is? Mudafili. Huh? Mudafili. Fine. Huh? Now I put Min. What will happen, brother? Min tahti he. Min tahti he. Got the idea? Are you with me? Min tahti he. Now I write down tahtaha. Now I put min again. What will happen now? Min tahti. Min tahti. Jannatin tajri min tahtiha anhar. See, all the time you know, but we never thought what's happening. See, jara yajri, this is verb we will study in book two. Tajri min tahtiha al anhar. Are you with me? So min made tahta into tahti, because this is a noun, zarf or noun. Are you with me, brother? Is it clear? So now, if I say to you, now I think I explained you. This is what I meant to explain you. Huh? Inshallah, it will become very clear. Are you, are you comfortable now, brothers and sisters? We had a good revision. Huh? Okay? And now we go to the main lesson. Okay? And now we go to the main lesson. But again, there is a there are two nouns we are being introduced by Dr. Abdurrahim. Now, the, there are five nouns in Arabic language. Uh, brothers and sisters, are you listening to me? When they become mudaf, their spelling rules are different. Huh? When they become mudaf, their spelling rules are different. Five of them. Now, we are going to learn slowly, slowly. So, Dr. Abdurrahim is introducing two of them. Huh? Okay, and I will explain you because it is in the, in, the, in the lesson. So, I will try to, inshallah, explain you better. What is this, brother? Abun. Is it definite, indefinite? It is indefinite. How do I make it definite? Al Abu. Sahih? Now there is another noun. Akhun. Definite, indefinite? And then Al Akhu. Definite. Okay? Now when you put Damir into them, with them, when you put Damir with them, normally as we did here, we just put Kitabuhu. So I would normally make it Ahuhu or Abuhu normally. Huh? Like Kalamuhu, Kitabuhu, Baituhu. But not in the case of the two nouns. Huh? They will change into what will happen? Wow came out. Are you with me? Wow came out. Huh? So now if you want to say his father, you will say Abu Hu. Her father, Abu Ha. Huh? Your father, Abu Ka. Your father, Abu Ki. My father, Abi. In that case, Ya will do the job. Our father, Abuna. How will I write down Abuna? Wow will come out. Wow huh? will come out. Except for Ya Mutakallim, in all 13 pronouns, Wow will come out. And same thing will happen to Ahu. How do you write his brother? Huh? This is wrong. These are wrong, brother. How will you write down? 
Ahu. Now we have to remember this rule. We will learn in detail. There are only five nouns in which this thing happened. Okay? But these are the two most popular nouns. So you see Dr. Saab, Dr. Abdurahim is introducing to us. No, when you say Ahuhu, it is Mudaf, Mudafili. How are you with me? Mudaf, Mudafili. And if you say Ahuha, her brother. Ahuka, Ahuki, Ahuna. Okay, brother and sister? Well, how will you translate Ahuna? Our brother. Huh? Our brother. And brother Ahu is Mudaf and then Mudaf. Mudafili. Now this vow only comes when Ahu and Abu come as a Mudaf. Will you please remember? They, the vow will come when the Ahu and Afu come as a Mudaf, not otherwise. Yes, yes, you are right. Or even a noun is John. How would you write down Abu Muhammadin? How will you write down Abu Muhammadin? Huh? Vow will come out. Are you with me? Why? Because Abu now came as a Mudaf. How will you write down Muhammad's brother, Akhu Muhammadin? Again, vow will come out. Are you with me? Vow will come out. So whenever brother Abdul Samad, whether it is a pronoun or it is a noun, vow will come out. Huh? Only when Abu and Akhu become Mudaf. Huh? Now also we have one very nice thing to remember today brother. What is this? Ismun, name. Huh? If I say to you, huh? make a mudaf mudaf ilay, how will you say? Ismuhu. Ismuhu. Huh? Her name? Ismuha. Your name? Ismuka. And uh, f feminine? Ismuki. Huh? And then my name. Is me. Only five. Don't use plurals with them because then it will make many changes, you know. Because if you say ismuna, that is wrong. You will have to say asmauna. Huh? So write down, I mean, make uh, a note of it that for our next lesson we are using five pronouns ismuhu, ismuha, ismuka, ismuki, and ismi. Huh? Five pronouns. Are you with me? What are they, brothers and sisters? If I say ismuhu, mudaf mudafil. If I say ismi, mudaf mudafil. And I will. I always tell students, break it. See what's inside. So if I say to you, how many words are there? How many words, brother Hassan? Two. What are those? Asam and and pronoun and pronoun. Are you with me? So is me is one and yamutakalam is truly speaking it is ismu. Are you with me? But why can't I see the Dhamma? Because Yamutakalam won't allow me. Very stubborn. Always Kasra. Huh? Uh, and then how we do analyze? There is a beautiful way of analyzing. But I won't tell you now. Because I have to be very careful. I have to watch your digestion system. Your digestive system. <laughs> I don't want you to get indigestion. Okay. So inshallah, keep this in mind brothers and sisters. Uh, there are many things inshallah we will do and we will start talking also a little bit. Huh? Simple sentence. Lesson number 10. Adarsul Ashiru. Do not analyze questions, only statements. Hamid. Mananta. What is the meaning of it? Who are you? 
And if I have to say to a lady, what will I say? Mananti. Are you with me? Mananti, who are you? Huh? And Muhammad replies, Ana Talibun Bil Jamiyati. Okay, now I will analyze. What is Ana? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Talibun. And what is Bil Jamiyati? Jama. Khalas. Nothing more. Huh? Okay. And you know, I would recommend you huh, from this lesson onwards, huh, with your pencil, you can underline something and you can put a line to separate Mubtada Khabar. So after <coughs> Ana, I put a line. So the Mubtada is on one side. And then make Taliban a circle and put Jar Majur under line. Because when you put a circle, from now onwards that circle is your Khabar. Are you with me? Put Ana, one line, that is your Mubtada. And then put Taliban into a circle. So what is that? Your khabar, and then build jamiyati, put underline. So what is that? Your jar majru. Inshallah, that way you will uh, master it. Brothers and sisters, you know, till the end of my book one, I wasn't sure whether to give a noun kasra or dhamma or fata. I wasn't sure. Not comfortable. You know, I was guessing all the time. But once you have this knowledge, then you will never make a mistake. You will never make a mistake, inshallah. Okay. Now, if I were to ask Sister Salma, Man Anti, what will she say to me? Using the same sentence, Allah, Ana, Talibatun. Huh? What will you say? Ana, Talibatun. That will be the only change. Huh? That will be the only change. Ana talibatun bil jamia will remain same. So when you have muannas, you just add tamarbuta. Fine, brother. Anta talibun jadidun. Naam. Ana talibun jadidun. So put, put line after ana. And then talibun is your khabar. And jadidun is your naat. Suppose if sister... Uh, Naima was to answer. What will she say? Ana talibatun jadidatun. Got the idea, brother? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Min aina anta. Now, this is a question you will be asked many times in your life. Min aina anta. From where are you? Huh? Ana min al hind. Huh? Or you will say, Ana min Canada. Okay, Ana in Canada. So what is, where is our Muftada? Ana. Where is your Khabar? Min, Min al Hind. Put a circle. Now put a circle. You, why will you put a circle now? Because it is your Khabar. Jar Majru, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Jar Majru, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now comes the question. Masmuka. What is Ismuka there? Mudah, mudah filahi. See, we got to immediately come up with a quick answer. What is ismuka? Mudah, mudah filahi. Now, brother, what is the answer? Ismi Muhammadun. Now you tell me, where is Mubtada? Ism only, which is actually ismu. Huh? You will say ism is your Mubtada. Wahuwa. Mudaf, and where is Mudaf ilahi? Ya mutakallam, khalas. You know, and where is, what is Muhammad? So put a circle in Muhammad. So that, for you, this is your sign that this is your khabar. Circling, we are circling the khabars. Okay. Now comes here, another sentence. Man hadal fatal ladhi maaka. Who is this young fellow who is with you? Brother, this is a question. We are not going to analyze, but I will pick up some words. What is ma'aka? With you. With you, very good. Now analyze. Zarf and mudafili. Brother, alhamdulillah. 
It gives me such a great pleasure when you are answering. I am thrilled with your answers, you know, because it makes me happy that the concept is uh, getting roots in your hard drive, <laughs> in your mind, inshallah. And once you have this concept in your mind, brother, the book, books, all these three books will become easy for you. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy it, you know, and cherish it. Huh? Okay? So, maka is your zarf and mudakhilihi. Okay? And what is this, brother? Okay, what is alladhi ismu mausula? Khalas. I want you to remember it is ismu mausula. Fine. Okay. What is the answer? Huwa zamili. He is my colleague. Huh? He is my class fellow. Are you? Whether where is Mufdura? Fine, put a line. Huh? Oh, where is your khabar now? Zamil. So it should be Zamilu. Uh, remember, khabar is marfu. Why there is a kasra? Yeah, yeah, pull it down, mashallah. But Abdul Samit will become a good teacher. <laughs> mashallah. But I, I, I dream, you know. No harm in dreaming, man. I dream that, inshallah, in the next five to ten years, we will have hundreds of people teaching everywhere in the city. And you will be uh, stand up and teach, inshallah. All of you, huh? you will become teachers. Because we should now understand Quran huh? when we read it or when we hear it, brother. When we say our salah, we must know what we are saying, brother. Huh? It's very important. Huh? And once you reach that stage, it will change your life. It will bring, you know, untold happiness, immense happiness in your life. Huh? Fine, brother. So, Zami Lu huh, is put a circle. Don't put a circle with Ya. Remove Ya. Got the idea? Sister Naima? Inshallah. Ahuwa Aidan Minal Hindi. What is Aidan? Also. Is he also from India? La. Huwa Minal Yabani. What is Huwa, brother? Muftada. Where is your khabar? Under circle it. Minal Yabani. So, Jar Majroor. Shibu Jumla Khabar. MashaAllah. Excellent, excellent. Masmuhu. What is Ismuhu? Mudaf. Mudafili. What is his name? What is the answer? Ismuhu. What is Ismuhu? Mudaf. Mudafili. So where is our Muptada? Ismu. Wahua Mudaf. And who? Mudafili. Because who is Majroor? Mudafili. And where is the khabar? Hamza too. Huh? Why there is a single dhamma there? It's a diptote. MashaAllah, you will understand. Single dhamma, diptote. Huh? It declines, but does not decline fully. Ma lugatuka ya Muhammad. Ma lugatuka ya Muhammad. What is your language? Huh? See, now you are understanding and uh, uh, translating. Alhamdulillah. Lugatuka. What is Lugatuka? Muda. Muda filahi. Got the idea? Huh? See, there is a pronoun joined with a noun. Are you with me? When the pronoun joins a noun, you get Muda. Muda filahi. Got the idea? Fine. So, what is the answer? Logati, Logati, Al Urdiyatu, Al Urdiyatu. Okay? Where is Muda? Uh, where is Muptata? Logatu. Huh? Okay? And Ya Mutakalam is Mudafili. Logatu is your brother. Why I'm saying Logatu? Because Muptata is always Marfu. You see Kasra, it is. The fault of Ya yeah. Mutakal. Yeah. Yes. So Logatu, it is your Muptada, Wahua Mudaf, and then Muda. And where is the Khabar? When I told you, brother, most of the time Khabar is 
khabar is indefinite but sometimes it is definite now here khabar comes as a definite where is the khabar al urdiyatu al urdiyatu do you see it is marfu because khabar is always if it is one word if the khabar is one word it will be marfu it will be marfu fine ahiya lugatun sahlatun brother tell me quickly lugatun sahlatun naat manut what is it naat manut ha brother salman are you with me brother naat where is naat sahlatun where is manut lugatun very good brother naam hiya mubtada lugatun khabar put a circle Huh? and what is sahlatun naat huh? you can underline it only you will circle the news predicate khabar very good wa hamzatu and hamza ma lugatuhu see lugatuhu mudaf mudaf ilayhi what is the answer lugatuhu al yabaniyatu so where is mubtada lugatu ha wa huwa mudaf and who mudaf ilahi where is the khabar yabaniyatu put a circle ha so that you know it is your khabar very good brother wa hiya and ataf hiya mubtada oh, where is the khabar lugatu again circle lugatu ha and what is the next word sahabatun difficult not very good word okay and next to it under the japanese language something is written al lugatul yabaniyatu what kind of a grammar value we can give it not manut mashallah it is not and manut where is not al na al yabaniyatu nat always comes after in arabic and where is manut al lugatu mashallah mashallah al lugatu not al lugatu right no make it al lugatu another typo but the, those publishers should pay us for catching their typos you know there are too many typos okay fine now look at abuka why it is wow there because it is mudaf mudaf ilahi are you with me aina abuka ya muhammad where is your father o muhammad what is the answer abi uh, my father is fil kuwaiti okay brother where is mubtada abu ha wa huwa mudaf and what is ya mutakallim mudaf ilahi got the idea abi because of ya mutakallim if there was no ya mutakallim it would be abu okay who were mubtada what is tabi khabar and shahirun na so bada tabibun circle it and fil kuwaiti circle it ha huh? for your uh, ease and understanding ha huh? are you with me brothers and sisters i i recommend that you have a nice pencils and nice highlighters ha uh, brother to to differentiate between different uh, words in the sentence now let me again tell you something more brother lesson number 10 is a combination of everything that we have done before so it's not difficult except few new things will come out okay mostly we are learning about brother we are mostly we are learning here the joining of pronouns with nouns we are learning joining of pronouns with noun fine wa aina ummuka what is ummuka mudaf mudaf ilahi mudaf mudaf ilahi wa aina ummuka hiya aidan pada hiya mubtada aidan just write down also we won't analyze this but do you see what i see aidan no aidan is not harf char had it been harf char i would have told you look at aidan in what 
It's Mansu. You got to know that it's Mansu. Huh? And why it is Mansu, we will learn later on. Huh? So at least you figured out that Aidan is Mansu. Huh? You figured out because you saw Tanween Fatah there. Fine. Who are Aidan? Fil Kuwaiti. So, so Fil Kuwaiti, you can take it as your Khabar. Circle it. Then what is Ma? Zarf. Uh, where is Mudaf Ilehi? Abi without Ya. Two. Huh? See, now I write down, huh, brother. I will write down. If you can understand this, brother, what shall I say? Alhamdulillah. You are doing very well. Huh? You are really on the right track. And you are understanding. Your understanding is good. Alhamdulillah. Huh? And you know, when you, we do, we come to about the first lessons of book three, you will be able to see Quran and figure out many things. And it will amaze you. I met a student yesterday. I had a class in uh, uh, Stowell. Uh, and she said, you know, Brother Asif, I memorized Surah Waqiyah. And I analyzed it. <laughs> And once you analyze and understand, memorization becomes easy. I said, uh, Sister Khalida, when did you memorize? Sitting in the office, I memorized sentence by sentence. Alhamdulillah. It becomes easy. Not only it becomes easy, it becomes enjoyable. Otherwise, you sit and memorize something you don't understand. It's, it's not very uh, enjoyable, brother. You are forcing yourself to memorize. Okay, ma'a. Abi, I want you to tell me how many words are there. Three. No, in this whole thing. Three, three mashallah. See, you know there are three words. Huh? What is it, brother? Ma'a. Ab abu. Mash no. Yeah. Ma'a will make it Abi. Mudafile. Huh? Huh? And then? Ya yeah. yeah. So how do I analyze? Ma'a. Zarf. Abi. Mudafile. Wahua Mudaf and then Ya Mutakalimra. In the end we will have a chain of Mudaf and Mudaf ilahi. Again one more time. Ma'a Zarf. Abi Mudafili. And then Wahua Mudaf. And then Ya Mutakalab. Finally, Mudafili. Got the idea? Inshallah. That is beautiful, brother. Insha yes. No, sister. Okay, let me write down now again in a in a in a nice way. Huh? Okay, what is this, brother? Zar. What is this? Mudaf Ilehi. Okay. Is there something after that? Yamut. Is that a nath? No, it is not a nath. Sometimes not can come. It is not not. So then I will say, what is the meaning of plus? Wahua. Huh? What is it? Wahua? Mudaf. And then what is this? Mudaf. Are you with me? Did you get it? Write it down like this. Huh? Okay, see sister uh, Salma, noun came after zarf is mudafili, but then abi itself is mudaf mudafili. Huh? Write it down like this, inshallah you will understand. Huh? Okay, here mubtada mudarri satun, put a circle. What is the meaning of circle? Khabar. And what is hunaka? Zarf. Zarfu Makan. And see, after Hunaka, there is no Mudafili. So sometimes Zarf will come on their own. Azahabta huh? al Kuwaiti ya Muhammad. Did you go to Kuwait, O Muhammad? What is the answer? Okay. 
Brother, do you have any difficulty in understanding Zahabta, Zahabtu? Huh? Do you have any? Why? Because we practiced. <laughs> we practiced, brother. We practiced. Huh? So you, this, this Zahabtu is not a strange word. It is a familiar word. Okay. See, now you can ask huh, uh, to anybody, Salma, Hal Zahabti illa Montreal? Nam, say Nam, and what will your answer? Zahabtu, I went. Are you with me? If I ask you, Brother Hassan, Hal Zahabta ila New York? Nam, Zahabtu, khalas. That's the way. You'll, you'll use your verbs with different, uh, uh, different uh, pronouns depending on uh, how do you want to answer. Okay. Now I answer. Hal zahaba abuka ila New York? Did your father go to New York? Naam. So what will your answer? He went. So what will your answer? Zahaba. Khalas. Naam. Zahaba means he went. See, this is the way you will make your own sentences, inshallah. And we will... Inshallah, practice in the class also. Very good, brother. Wa zami luka. See, what is zami luka? Mudaf, mudaf ilay. What is the translation? And your colleague. Aina abuhu. Translation only, brother. Where is his father? What is the answer? Abuhu. Now, you see here, you can see properly abu. Abuhu fil yabani. So, brother and sisters, what will you do now? Abu who? Abu Muqtada Huwa Mudaf Hu Mudaf Ilehi And fil Yabani put a circle What is it? Jarun Majrurun Shibu Jumla Khabar Huwa Tajirun Tabirun What is Huwa? Where is the Khabar? Put a circle. So from now onwards, by putting circle, you will know it is your khabar. And what is kabirun? Naat. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Now comes our jar majroor that we learned this morning. Laka. Alaka akhun ya Muhammad. Alaka akhun ya Muhammad. What is the meaning of this? Do you have a brother? Huh? Laka means... For you. Huh? But we will not literally translate it. We will say, do you have a brother? If you literally translate it, then is there a brother to you? Huh? Is there a brother to you? No, do you have a brother? Okay. What is the answer? Naam. Li. Akhun. Wahidun. What is this brother? Li. Jar Majru. Are you with me? What is Li? Jar. How many words are there? Two. 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 Harf Jar Li and Yamuta Kalam. Remember, huh? Inshallah. See? Now we we'll learn another rule. Maybe I have told you. But we will learn now. The rule is, brother, <coughs> that jar majroor or zarf and mudaf ilahi. What did I say? Jar majroor and zarf and mudaf ilahi. They will never, ever, ever, ever be muftada. Even they come in the beginning of the sentence. Okay, jar majroor, huh? or zarf, wa mudaf ilayhi, will never, 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 ever be muptada. Are you with me? Will never, ever be muptada. If they come in the beginning of the sentence, 
brothers and sisters you can write down if they come in the beginning of the sentence then they are most of the time khabar are you with me most of the time khabar so khabar comes in the beginning what is it brother khabar comes in the beginning when the khabar comes in the beginning it is quite most of the time the muftada will be indefinite what will be muftada it will be indefinite i will repeat again jar majroor sister arifa jar majroor and zarf and mudaf ilahi can never be muftada and if they come in the beginning of the sentence they are coming as a khabar ha huh? okay and then and the uh, muftada will be indefinite okay this is how i used to explain in the class okay brother it is a class time so muftada and khabar started from the home ha huh? muftada and the khabar started from the home muftada is indefinite and khabar is jar majroor so they are both coming to the class on the way came tim horton and muftada said i must have my fix of donut and coffee oh khabar you carry on i will follow you jar majroor comes in the class early and takes the place in front of the sentence and where is muftada still in tim horton he is coming <laughs> so he comes late in the sentence are you with me no but these are the things you will understand very soon inshallah if i tell you fil baiti rajulun ha huh? fil baiti fil baiti rajulun are you with me fil baiti rajulun what is fil baiti it is come in the beginning can i say muftada no way char majroor can never be muftada so it is now khabar we call it khabar muqaddam ha huh? you have to write down you can write down but later on you will become very you and muftada muakhar late latif why he came late he he stopped for <laughs> coffee <laughs> you know are you with me tim horton brother <laughs> always fresh <laughs> okay are you with me now make this muftada rajulun definite what will you say now ar rajulu fil baiti huh now you cannot say other if you say rajulun fil baiti it will be wrong ha huh? rajulun fil baiti is wrong fil baiti fil baiti rajulun there is a man in the house a man in the house but in the quran we get our examples the most beautiful example we are ready to take it because now you will understand ha huh? Are you ready brothers and sisters? I'll give you example from the Quran. See, this is a sentence we read it all the time. Now we can analyze, brother. Huh? Huh? How how beautiful, brother? it you will you will feel a special joy in your heart huh? now it makes it so beautiful and when you hear it 
you are understanding Arabic directly and you are tasting the words. Fi, what is fi, brother? Harchar. And then fi made kulubun itru kulubi. Fi, harchar, ism majru. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafile. See, because of B, it became M. Because of B, it became M. So how will I write if what? If I were to analyze it in a simple way, brother, Afjar, and then Kulub, Ism, Majru. Then, then I say, Hawa Huwa Muda. And what is this? Muda Filehi. So, where is your khabar now? Huh? Maradun is khabar? So where is Mubtada? Fi Kulubi. This is your This is your khabar. You know what is the khabar? Jarun, Majrurun, Shibu Jumla, Khabar Mukaddam. What happened to Maradun? He stayed for coffee. <laughs> so see, Maradun. Now it is your Mubtada. Why? Because it is indefinite. See, the grammar of Arabic language comes from the Quran. Huh? Incredible, brother. Nothing in the last 1400 years, nobody has produced anything which can equal Quran. It is at the summit of eloquence huh? and beauty. Huh? Summit so high, nobody can reach it. And we will not feel it unless we learn the language. More example, brother. Now, I think you are ready. Huh? Are you enjoying it, brother? Huh? Everybody? Huh? Now I'll write on more. Huh? And we are going to analyze it, brother. This is a new sentence. If I make a mistake, sometimes, you know, uh, we read Quran, but when you try to write it, you get confused. Khatam huh? Allahu. Wa. And then I'm, I'm, I'm writing separately, yeah? so that it makes it easy. Are you with me, brother and sister? Lahum Azabun I think there's wall there. Wow. Okay, brothers. Now you in in two weeks time you have learned enough. Inshallah. Did I make a mistake, Sister Zukhaina? Sorry, I beg your pardon. In two, two weeks, in eight sessions, we have learned enough, inshallah. We can understand this. Brother Khatama, what is Khatama? Zahaba, Jalasa, Raja'a, what is Khatama? What is Zahaba? Fear, not fire. What is it? See, now, see, I told you the three letter verbs, inshallah, you will be able to recognize them. So Khatama is like Jalasa. Zahaba, Kharaja, Kataba, Sajada. So Khatama is Fial Mahdi. It is Mahdi. Brother, we need 
Sisters, we need file. Where is file? And file has to be marfu. Allah. Huh? Huh? So Allah has sealed. Huh? Or Allah has put a seal. Where? Allah. What is Allah? Harcha. And what is Kulubi? Isam Majru. Wa huwa mudaf. And whom? Mudaf. Then waw ataf. Allah. Harjal. And then Sama'i. See, Sama'u became Sama'i. Huh? Abasa, Abasarun became Abasari. Sama'un became Sama'i. Because they are coming as a mudaf, uh, mudaf also. So, ala, harfchar, sama'i, isim majroor, wa huwa mudaf, and hum mudaf ilay. MashaAllah. And then wal, ataf. Now, brother, look at this sentence very properly. Huh? Because right now, what we are learning is this. This is a jumla Failure. We are mostly now learning Jumla Ismiya. Huh? But this is Jumla failure. But this is a very simple and beautiful example of Jumla failure that everybody knows. Huh? Everybody knows this verse. So we can say this is Jumla failure. Okay, brother. Allah. Huh? And what is Absari? Isam Majru. Wahuwa Mudaf. And where is Mudaf? Can I call this Muptada? No. No. Because Jar Majroor Zarf, they can never ever be Muptada. If they come, they will come as a Khabar. So brother, Allah Abusari is your Khabar. Shibu Jumla. Jar Majroor. Khabar Mukaddam. Okay. Where is our Muptada? Gishavatun. Why brother Gishavatun? Indefinite. It's marhu. Huh? See, Gishawatun stayed for a coffee. So it came late. Are you with me? Now, what is it? Wa. Ata. Lahum. Jar majroor. Can it be Muftita? No. So Jar majroor has to be khabar. Huh? Jar majroor has to be khabar. And then, brother, what is Azabun? Muqtada, mashallah. And what is Azim? Nah, see? Do you feel it, brother? You analyze a Quranic verse. Huh? Lahum, jarun, wa majrur. Azabun, muqtada. Nah. Now, because we are in this momentum, I want to continue and give you one more ayah, brother. How many times do you say? Almost every day. Or very often. Lakum dinukum. Now, you have to see, there is no verb in it. Huh? And, I, and see, here I said jumla failure. But starting from here, it became jumla ismia. And this is also jumla ismia. And this I will call jumla ismia. Huh? What, is, what is lakum, brother? Jar Majroor. It has come in the beginning. Can it be Muptada? No. So where is Muptada? You are saying it right. You are, you are 98% you are saying right. Dinu. Muptada. Marfu, brother. It has to be Marfu. So you must say Dinu. You must say Dinu. So, but lakum is, what is lakum? Jarun wa majroorun, shibu jumla, khabar. And where is our muqtada? Deenu wa huwa mudaf. And kum mudaf ilahi. And then wa ataf. And what is next one? Jar majroor. Can it be muqtada? No. No. Huh? It cannot be muqtada. So, it is jar majroor. Li, how many words in li? Two words. Huh? Harfjar and Yamutakaram. 
Huh? Uh, this is Allah says. Huh? To, this is said to the kuffar. When they tried to, uh, Rasul Sallallahu was extremely tired. And sometimes uh, he was in great distress. And he used to feel that maybe I am not doing my job well. Because people are not listening to me. Brother, in 10 years of his struggle in Makkah, only 150 or so people became Muslim. The Islam, truly speaking, uh, the, 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 the force of Islam started after Hijrah. Uh, but in Makkah, too many problems. Okay? And then the Kuffar came with suggestion. You know, we are ready to accept your, what you are saying, but you make some concessions. You know? uh, sometimes you allow us to worship this, or you also worship we, then we will worship your Lord and you worship our Lord. And this kind of a uh, suggestion came. Rasul said, maybe, maybe I should compromise. But then Allah said, no. No way. To you, your deen. And to me, my deen. No compromise. This is all in the history, brother. Uh, it is all in the history that how Kuffar wanted to find a middle way. You know? So that their positions will still remain and uh, uh, they will then uh, calm down Prophet ﷺ in attacking them, you know. Okay, so here is Lakum Deenukum. So Deenu is your Muptada. And Li and to me is, where is Li Irjar Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar, where is Muptada? You are going to be surprised. Huh? Sister Manas, this is the beauty of learning the language. Brothers, sisters, remember one thing. Huh? We are not learning grammar. We are learning language. But with the help of grammar. If we did not do this, you will not understand. Huh? When you learn a new language, then you got to learn the grammar. So brother, where is Muftada? Lee can never be Muftada. Huh? It is Dini here. Yeah. It is Dini. It has to be Marfu. Now this is the style in the Quran. Many times you will see a noun ending with a Kasra. This is the style of the Quran. A very beautiful style of the Quran. Huh? The noun will end with a Kasra. And who can give a Kasra? Ya Mutakalim. She can give a Kasra. And she gives kasra and then she runs away. She disappears. Apne nishani chhodke chali jati hai. So brother, what is dini? This is actually the translation. Lakum dinukum wali dini. To you your religion and to me my religion now what happens this is the style of the Quran you will see many times you know you will come across this the noun will end with a kasra and why because actually ya mutakalam is there but it's not written this is the eloquence of the Quran a beautiful style of the Quran so brother if I remove ya mutakalam from here what will I be left with? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What you will be left with? Deni. So tell me, your mother and sister, how will you analyze? Wali, Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar, and Dinu is your Muktada. Are you with me? Wahua Mudaf. And where is Mudaf Ilehi? It is not there. So what will you say? Mudaf ilahi mahzuf dropped. What will you say? Mahzuf. Huh? Huh? What mudaf ilahi is mahzuf. Huh? Dropped. It's not visible. But it is there. 
It is there, but it's not visible. Your mind knows that it is there. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Is this applicable to the second part of the sentence? Yeah. The second part. Yeah. See? So, Deenukum and Deeni. To you, your Deen. And to me, my Deen. You know, who's. Where is. Yes, it is Deenu. Okay, let me write it down, brother. Let me write down properly. What is Li? Jar Majroor. Is it your khabar? Yes, Shibu Jumla khabar. Huh? Where is your Muptada? It is Dinu. Huh? Huh? It is your Muptada. Plus Mudar. Huh? And what will you say? Huh? Ya Mutakalim. Huh? And you will write down Mudaf Ilehi. What will you say? Mahzuf. Sister Salma, are you with me? Yeah. With us? You understand the meaning of Mahzuf? Hazaf Kardia. Huh? Isku? Drop Kardia. Huh? This is the style. And you will see most of the time in the Quran. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yes, Sister uh, Maimuna. Please speak loudly. Uh, lakum? What is Lakum? Jarmachru. That's why we did the earlier pronouns. Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters, do one more time. What did I write? Li Harf Jar and who? Damir. Huh? Isam Majroor. Do 14 times. How will you start? Lahu. Because Li change into La. Are you with me, Sister Mamuna? Lahu, Lahuma, Lahum, Laha, Lahuma, Lahunna, Laka, Lakuma, Lakum, Laki, Lakuma, Lakunna, Li, Lana. So you see Lakum. What is Lakum? Two words. What is Lakum? Harfjar, Isam Majru. Shchar Majru, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Brother, if you are, if you still are confused, I will repeat again. But I felt you are so comfortable. Huh? You didn't understand? Sister Arifa? Ask me what, what, what was it that you didn't understand? Huh? Okay. What I said, that's why. That Jar Majroor, and Zarf, if they come in the beginning of the sentence, normally Muftada comes, but if they come, they are never Muftada. They are Khabar, which came before, and Muftada will come afterwards. So, brother, Lakum is Jar Majru. So, so, it is not Muftada, so it is Khabar. So, then where is Muftada? Dinu. And what is Kum? Mudafili. And again, Ataf came. And what is Li? Jar Majru. Uh, where is your Muftada? Dinu again. But because Yamutakalim is there, it became Dini. And then you drop the Yamutakalim. So Mudafili is Mahzuf. So where is your Muftada? Dinu. Huh? Actually, it is Dinu. Huh? But Samad, it is Dinu. Huh? But because, why did you give the Kasra? Because, because it is Ya there. Huh? So it is Muftada plus it is Muda. Is it clear? Are you sure? Memuna? Inshara? Arifa? Huh? Salma? Muhammad? Abdul Qadir? Brother Hassan, I am sure Brother Abdul Samad got it well, inshallah. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Salman, Brother Farooq, inshallah. Okay, Brother, we, we will bring many more examples. Uh, we will bring many more examples. I know this is the first time. I was, I was so excited, you know, to explain you. 
these things. Uh, and because we did the rules, and you know everything, almost everything, in this, uh, uh, at this stage, so I took uh, I, a chance to write down these verses. Last, huh? week, last week you said that you will uh, explain about the uh, Yeah, I, I, okay, I'm going to do it. Maybe we will recharge our batteries, hmm. huh? And then I will explain you about Bismillah. I am also ready to explain you uh, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen also. We can analyze that also. You are ready. Okay, now brother, here comes another thing nobody asked me. I was hoping that some of you will ask me. We always say, Waliya. Okay, now that is just for continuation. No grammar here. Huh? Actually, it is li. Are you with me? Actually, it is li. But we say valiya dini. So it has no grammar. It is still li, but for continuation, we say liya. Okay? Well, okay. When you say valiya, tell me what is wa. Atta. And what is liya? It is actually li, which is half jar, isam majrur, jar majrur. Got the idea? Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brother, let us take a break. Let us take a break. Huh? Inshallah. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start. Alhamdulillah, we are back now, brothers and sisters. So, alaka akhun. Huh? Laka, what is that? Laka? Jar Majur. Huh? Okay. What is the answer? Li. See, Li came first. Huh? Jar Majur. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. Okay. But then, what is the reason for Li coming first? Because Muptada is indefinite. Muakhar. Indefinite. Where is Muptada? Akhun. Where is Muptada? Akhun. Akhun is your Muptada. Okay. And brothers and sisters, then what is Wahidun? Naat. MashaAllah. It is Naat. Huh? Did you get it, brothers and sisters? This is very important. Li, Jar Majur, Shubhu Jumla, Khabar, Akhun, Mubtada, Brother Muhammad. And what is Wahidun? Naat. Huh? What is the translation? Yes, I have one brother. Huh? Very good. Ismuhu Usama. Okay, brother. Ismuhu. What is this Ismuhu? Mudaf Mudafilay. So where is our Muftada? Ismu. Wa huwa Mudaf. And then who? Mudafilayhi. And then brother? Usama. What is Usama? Khabar. Put a circle. And uh, put a circle on Lee also, huh, brother and sisters? Huh? Put a circle on Lee. Lee Akhun Wahidun. So you know Lee is? Okay, fine. Wa ma'i. Wow is ataf. Huwa muftada. What is ma'i? What is ma'i, brother? Zarf and mudafilehi. How many words are in ma'i? Two. Zarf and mudafilehi. Fil madinati. Char majroor. And what is al munawarati? Not now you got it, okay? So So here you know where do we want to put our khabar? Hua is Muptada. I would say Hua, you know, you can say my Shibu uh, Zarf Shibu Jumla Khabar. He is with me. Okay? In in the Madina Munawara. You can have only one khabar, brother. Fi Harchar Al Madinati Isam Majrur and Al Munawara Naat. Okay. Mai Huna here. Huna is also Zarf. Are you with me? Mai is Zarf and Mudafilehi. Two words. And then Huna is Zarf on its own. Huna. Fine. Again Wa Ataf. Again came Li. Jar Majrur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. This will come to you in the Quran 
more, more and more, brother. Inshallah. Wali ukhtun. Li. Li jar maju shibu jumra. Ukhtun. Muftada. See, again, do you see ukhtun? What do you see? Indefinite. Indefinite. Ukhtun. Wahidatun. Huh? Huh? This is not. Why wahidatun? Female. Akhun wahidun, ukhtun, wahidatun. Brother, wahid is one. What is two? Ithnani. What is two? Ithnani. Huh? And many times our students make a mistake. Wahidani. <laughs> no, brother, it's nani, not wahidani. Okay? Ismuha. What is Ismuha? Mudafili. Okay, brother, I would like you to put Wali Ukhtun Wahidun full stop. Ismuha Zainabu. Of course, there is a comma there. Huh? So again, you can circle Li. Okay? And then Ismu is your Mubtada. Huwa Mudaf. Ha Mudaf Ilehi. And Zainabu is your Khabar. So put circle on Zainabu. Huh? Okay. Wahiya and brother. And she is. Hiya is Mubtada. Put a, draw a line. Fil Iraq. She is in Iraq. So what is Phil Iraqi? Char Majru, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Okay. Ma'a. What is Ma'a? Zarf. Where is Mudafilehi? Zawji. Is your Mudafilehi? There is something else. Wahua Mudaf and Ha Mudafilehi. MashaAllah. Are you with me? Brother Muhammad, did you, did you get this? Getting it there. Okay. Let me write it down, brother. Okay, brother, I'm writing Ma'a. Zaw. See, now Ma'a came. Ma'a is your zarf. Ma'a came. Now, shall I say Zawju or Zawja or Zawji? Zawji. See, now your mind will tell you that it has to be Zawji. Okay? And what is Zawji? It is Din. Majru. So, you know in the beginning I said, every time there is a Isam Majru, there is a reason for it. What is the reason for this Zawji? Because it is Mudaf Ilahi. Huh? And then what is, Ha is there, so again Zawji became Mudaf. And so, so now I will write down again, brother here. Let me, let me. So brother, this is Zarf. Are you with me? This is Mudaf Ilehi. Plus Mudaf. And what is this? Mudaf Ilehi. Are you with me brother and sisters? Mudaf Ilehi. It's okay. Now, see, then there's the full stop. Now a new sentence begins. What is the first word? Is it marfu? Why? Before you say zawji. Zawji was because of ma. Now there is nothing. A new sentence starts. So it is zawju. What is zawju? Mubtada. Huh? And what is zawju ha? Mudaf mudaf huh? Are you with me? Zawju mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And ha mudaf ilahi. And what is this? Mohandisun. What is it? Khabar. Put a circle there, brother and sister. Phil Iraqi, I hope you put a circle. Aindaka sayyaratun ya akhi. Again, brother and sister. Aindaka sayyaratun. Aindaka sayyaratun ya akhi. What is that? Do you have a car? Is there with you a car? But we say, do you have a car? What is the answer? La. Ma indi sayara tun. Okay, brother, analyze. Ma, what is ma? Harfu nafi. Huh? What is indi? Zarf. So when you say zarf, you say shibu jumla khabar. And ya mutakalim? Mudafilihi. And where is our mubtada? 
Tun. Do you see Tun? Muakhar. Huh? Okay. Then what is the next sentence? In the Darrajatun. So what is in the brother? Zarf, Shibu Jumla Khabar, Mudafilehi, and where is your Muftada? The Rajatun, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Now comes something, brothers and sisters, normally I don't venture to explain. Huh? But this class is very strong and I, I take little courage to explain them. And I gave you a sheet. Do you, do you see the sheet that I gave you? You will keep that sheet it's a very precious sheet, brother. Now here we are. Are you with me? Kinds of khabar. What have we learned so far? The khabar can be one word. Are you with me? Khabar can be one word. Huh? Khabar can be one word. When it is one word, it is marfu. Khabar can be shibu jumla. Shibu jumla, two kinds. What are they? Jar Majur, the Shibu Jumla, Jar Majur or Zarf. Huh? Two different. Huh? They are both Shibu Jumla. Now, Khabar can be Jumla Failia. Do you, do you remember? Khabar can be Jumla Failia. Huh? Sister Maimuna, here. Hamidun Zahab al Masjid. So, Hamidun Muftida. Huh? Okay. Hamidun. Okay, brothers and sisters. Hamidun, what is Hamidun? Okay, where is the khabar? Jumla Fehliya. What is the news about Hamidun? He went to the masjid. Okay, what is Zahaba? Fear. Where is the fail? Mustatil. Okay, you got your fail and fail. And Ilal Masjid? Jar Masjid. Okay, fine. So, then I will say Jumla Felia is coming as a khabar for Hamid. Huh? Now Jumla Ismiya can also come as a khabar. Huh? Huh? So how will be Jumla Ismiya coming as a khabar? There is a Muptada followed by another Jumla Ismiya. So this is an example. Brother, Hamzatu. What is Hamzatu? Muftada. Are you with me? Hamzatu is Muftada. Hamzatu is a Muftada. So I say Muftada. I, huh? Okay. Then I am leaving it aside. What, what I am doing? Leaving it aside. What is after that? What is in the who? What is in the? Zarf. And this is Shibu Jumla Khabar. Huh, brother? This is your Khabar. What is this, brother? Mudafili. And what is this, brother? Muptira. Sahih. Now tell me, brother, this whole sentence, what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla Ismiya. What is it coming as a? As a khabar for Muftada. Huh? Are you with me? Do you see what is happening? Sister Arifa, Hamza. What is the news about Hamza? The news is he has a car. Huh? So then he has a car is a Jumla itself. Which came as a... So what will I call this Jumla? Jumla Ismiya? Now this Jumla Ismiya is Khabar. Huh? This Jumla Ismiya, brother, the whole Jumla is the Khabar for this Muftida. Did you get it? We will be doing this exercise a lot. Yes.
comes. No, I, I'm wrong. And Ma is also her Funafi. And brother, there are lots of Ma. Another Ma, are you ready? Okay, I will tell you. Even if you are not ready. Huh? Ma is a Ismu Mausula. What is it? A relative program. Huh? Okay. Huh? Ma is a Ismu Mausula. Relative pronoun. Are you with me? Relative pronoun. Do you know relative pronoun? What have you learned in relative pronoun so far? Alladi. Allati, Allazi. So Ma is also your uh, Ismu Mausula. Huh? Okay, wait, wait one minute. Huh? And this ma, you will be, uh, you will you'll read a lot in Quran. Let me give you an example. I know it is hard, but I feel like telling you. Lahu ma fis samawati wal ard. What is lahu, brother? That jar majru. Now, what is it has come in the beginning? Char majrur, shibu jumla, khabar. And then there is the muptada. Ma. Why muptada is ma? Because it is relative pronoun here. Whatever is in the heavens and earth belongs to him. So lahu, are you with me? Lahu, jar majrur, shibu jumla, are you with me? And khabar, where is muptada? Ma. And fish samavati, what is fish samavati? Jar majuru. Wa fil ard, jar majuru. Fine, brother. Huh? Do you remember that whenever Allazi comes, what follows after Allazi? Sulatul Mausul. So if Ma is Ismu Mausula, where is Sulatul Mausul? Got the idea? Fish samavati, well, ard. Is Silatul Mausul for Ma. So truly speaking, Lahu Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar, where is Muftita? Ma. And what is all this after that? Silatul Mausul. I know it is tough, but we are going to do it many times. Huh? Okay, anything that comes after Al Lazi, which is part of it. For example, Al Kitabu. Huh? Allazi alal maktabi lil mudarris. So, what was actually the sentence? Al kitabu lil mudarris. But I said in English, if I want to translate, the book which is on the desk belongs to the teacher. Huh? So, which is which is your ismo? Belongs uh, which is on the desk is silatul masul. We are going to do it. We are going to do a lot, brother. Don't worry. I'm going to explain you over and over again. And it will come in during our course all the time. And let me assure you from now onwards, you will master it. You will become perfect, inshallah, inshallah. Okay, brother. So, Sister Sukhaina asked a question. If you take this whole sentence, then is it two muptadas? There are two parts to the sentence. The first part is muptada. And what is the second part, Sister Sukhaina? It's a Jumla Ismiya. So then this, if you call this Muptada, then the Khabar is here. Okay? And then where is the Khabar of this Muptada? The whole sentence. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, sometimes you can say, Hamzatu Muptada number one. Okay? Then leave it aside. Leave it aside. And then what is in the who? Khabar. But is this the khabar for this? No. Then this is khabar number two. Because there is a muftada number two coming. Which is sayaratun. And all of this together becomes khabar number one for muftada. Do you got the idea? Sister Sukhaina. But remember a sentence can only have one muftada. Huh? So this is our muftada. And the khabar is the whole sentence, and it happens that in that sentence, there is a muptada khabar. It will come in the Quran. Let me give you an example. Wallahu 
I said ataf and Allah I said Wallahu ataf and Mubtada. Where is the khabar? Indahu husnu sawab. Are you with me? Wallahu. Okay. Okay, Allah, what is the news? With him there is the most beautiful reward. Huh? So brother Allahu Mubtada. Uh, where is the khabar? A sentence came. Indahu husnu sawab. Huh? So what is inda? Zar. That became khabar. Husnu is your mubtada. So this whole sentence which has mubtada and which has khabar comes as a khabar for Allah. Are you with me? So similarly here, Hamza too. Okay, what is the news about Hamza? The news is that he has a car. So, Indahu Sayaratun is a complete sentence with its own Muftada and Khabar. This whole sentence came as a Khabar for Muftada. Are you with me? Now, trust me, brothers and sisters, even if you got 50%, I'm happy with it. Because more and more sentences will come and you are going to analyze it. So brother, how will you analyze this? Hamzatu put a circle. Uh, uh, and, and write down in that, Muptada number one. Okay? Okay. Now, you have another sentence. Uh, and circle this whole sentence. Indahu sayaratun, circle the whole sentence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now try to analyze Indahu Sayaratun. What is Indahu Sayaratun? What is Inda? Zar. Shibu Jumla Khabar. What is who? Mudafili. Where is the uh, Sayaratun Muptada? But who is Muptada? It is Inda. Inda Muptada. Huh? No, Sayaratun is Muptada for Khabar, which is Inda. Are you with me, sister Amainas? Sayaratun, if it is Muftada, then where is the khabar for Sayaratun? In the. Samaj me aya? Okay, brother and sister. Okay, now you put a circle. So that whole circle is your khabar for Hamza. Brother, samaj me aya? Brother, we are doing some mathematics. We are sometimes doing some algebra. We are doing all kinds of things here. Remember? Uh, I always uh, quote uh, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, you want to increase your IQ? Learn Arabic. <laughs> because it makes you think. Huh? Okay, are you with me, Sister Naima? Hamza. What is Hamza? Muftada. Where is the khabar? The whole thing. But let us analyze. Before we say the whole thing, let us analyze. What is Inda? Huh? Inda is your... Zarf, which is Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then, what is who? Mudafili. And when then, what is Sayaratun? Muftada. Huh? If you want to call this Muftada 2, you can say Muftada 2. But then you will have to call Inda as Khabar 2. Huh? Because it is, they are both related. Now, where is the Khabar for Hamza? The whole Jumla Ismiya became Khabar for Hamza. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? More examples are coming, Sister Mayamuna and Sister Arifa. Do not be gabrified. <laughs> don't, don't. We will learn. We are going to spend our time and inshallah we will learn. Inshallah. Okay, brother. That is done. Okay, now we still have 15 minutes, brother and sister. Tamarinu ajib anil as'ilatil atiyati. Now, this is something, brother, we have to do it. Huh? We have to do it a lot. Masmuka huh? Yaakhi, I'm asking Muhammad. Masmuka Yaakhi. What did you say? Nah, then you'll say, Ismi Muhammad. Masmuka. Ismi Muhammad. Masmuki Yaakhi. Salma. Masmuka ya akhi. Ismi Abdul Khadr. Now watch me. Masmuha. 
اسموها سلما مسموه عبد القادر سي ذس از هاو يو ويل يوز ات اوكي مسموها مسموه اسموه محمد مسموها اسم اسموها ابي ها ناو يو براكتس ات هوم برادر وي ار جوينغ تو اسك ذس كويستشن ان ذا كلاس ها مسموك يا اخي افتر مسموه حسن اوكي مسموه اسمه سلمان ها مسموك يا اخي مسموه هو ها يو ويل سي اسمه ها اوكي نصرت مسموكي مسموها مايناس يو سي او مسموه فاروق got the idea we are going to ask these questions ha huh? so you know try to uh, work out remember whom you are asking are you asking male or female if you ask a male mohammed i will say masmuka okay if i ask salma i'll say masmuki now i don't know the name of abir so i am asking salma masmuha what is her name now i don't know the name of muhammad so i am asking salma masmuhu and all the time the answer could be ismuha ismuhu or ismi is me when you say ismi what is ismi my name more than that mubtada muda mudafili and where is the khabar the name will be the khabar are you no again okay. if you say ismi muhammadun ismi muhammadun okay brother ismi muhammadun where is mubtada ismi ha huh? it has a dhamma yeah so this is your mubtada ha wa huwa mudaf and what is this ya mutakallam mudaf ilahi and then what is muhammad is your khabar got the idea brother and sister ha huh? or if you say ismi salma the same thing salma will be your khabar ha huh? and if i say if you say ismu ha abir so again ismu muftada ha mudaf ilahi and where is the khabar abir and ismu hu what is ismu mubtada who mudafili and khabar muhammad got the idea inshallah so answer these questions brothers and sisters you have to answer mostly from the lesson masmu ka ha brothers and sisters ismi muhammad are you with me ismi muhammad fine ma lughatuka how will you answer now logati ha huh? al urdiyatu don't say urdiyati urdiyatu ha huh? khabar khabar marfu ha huh? fine oh i forgot this min aina anta ana min al hind ha mana min al hindi correct aina abuka you can say abi fil kuwait ha huh? you have a choice abi or you can say huwa fil kuwait or you say abi very good aina ummuka ha hiya aidan fil kuwait ma abi here ma abi is correct okay hiya aidan fil kuwait ma abi okay alaka khun brothers and sisters even if you have more than one brothers or you have no brothers you will say naam li akhun wahid because we are practicing eh? don't say more than one because we have to learn to say more than one okay alaka akhun naam li akhun wahid and even if you don't have sisters or you have three four sisters just say i have one sister alaka alaka ukhtun naam li 
اختن واحدتن نا ولا عندك سيارتن نعم عندي سيارتن what will you say عندي and if you don't have you will say عندك سيارتن لا no ما عندي سيارتن I don't have car ما عندي سيارتن are you with me very good I want to finish this inshallah huh Brother, you don't mind if I take five minutes extra? No. Inshallah. Okay. Ainda ka darajatun, the answers will be same. Naam indi darajatun or ma indi la, ma indi darajatun. But you have to say la and then say ma. Ainda ka kalamun? Naam indi kalamun. So brother and sisters, what you are doing is you are putting muqtada in khabar. But I'm not analyzing because we have done it many times. Ainda ka daftarun? Naam. Indi daftarun. Abu ka tajirun? Naam. Abi tajirun shahirun. You can say he's a famous merchant. Min aina muhammadun? Huwa? Min al-hind. Now you will say huwa? Min al-hind. Ma lugutu hu? Now see, now Dr. Sahib is coming with different pronouns. Huh? Ma logatuhu. What will you say? Logatuhu al urdiyatu. Huh? Al urdiyatu. Huh? Not ti. Huh? Okay. Aina abuhu. Who? No, you can't say abhi. You can say abuhu, or you'll say huwa. Fil Kuwait. Aina ummuhu. Hiya aidan fil Kuwait. Huh? Okay. Min aina hamza. Huwa min al-yabani. Are you with me? I'm going a little fast. Ma lugatuhu. Lugatuhu al-yabaniyatu. Al-yabaniyatu. Aina abuhu. Huwa fil-yaban. He's in Japan. Huwa fil-yaban. Or you can say abuhu fil-yaban. Aina zainabu. Hiya fil-iraq. She's in a... Aina zaw juha. See, Aina zaw juha. Zaw juha fil, Aidan fil Iraq. Are you with me? Zaw juha, Aidan fil Iraq. Why will you say, this is what I want to tell you. Why will you say zaw ji? There has to be a reason. Is it mudaf mudaf ilay? No. Has a preposition come? No. So it cannot be zaw ji. Aina zaw juha. See, when you give kasra to the noun, you got to have a reason, brother. Either mudah mudah ilay or char mujur. Remember, brother, the only time in the whole Arabic language the ism will become majroor if there is a harf char in front of it. Or it comes as a mudah ilayhi. So be that mudah mudah ilayhi or zarf Mudafilehi. That's all. No other time kasra will come. So it's very easy, brother. This is the last of the mail, where is Aina Zawjuha? Aina Zawjuha. Where is her? Her husband. Zawjuha. Where is her husband? Are you with me, brother? This thing has to be understood. You know, as I told you, brother and sisters, I always, myself, when I was learning, I was confused. But then I realized that if we can understand when is the ism becomes majroor. When does the ism become majroor? When you know that, it will be very easy to figure out. Okay? Otherwise, you will never say, Aina Zawjiha. Why would you say Aina Zawjiha? Aina Zawjuha. Are you with me? From now onwards, every morning, I will ask you, if I say to you, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh, what will you say to me? And if I say Arabic greeting to you in this class only, half jar, you got to reply. Huh? If you will not reply, you will become weak then. Okay, half jar. If 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 there is no half jar, why will you make this some majroor, brother? Are you with me? Half jar, is a majroor. You must say to me, huh? just for practice, brother, so that it sinks in your mind. Half jar, is a majroor. Okay, brother. 
So we are here. Okay. The brother puts in the blanks the mir, who and ha. Brother, what is? Azawjuha mudarrisun la. No, la. Azawjuha mudarrisun la. Huwa muhandisun. Khalas. That's it. Okay. Now, brother, look at this very carefully. It's very easy. Hadihi al-bintu talibatun. So, brother, what is hadihi? Mubtada. What is al-bintu? Badal. Where is the khabar? Right. Circle talibatun. What will you say now? Ismuha Zainabu. Is it easy? Inshallah. Muhammadun tabibun. Mubtada khabar. Wabnu who? Muhandisun. Wabnu who? Are you following me? It's very easy, brother. Hazar rajulu tajirun kabirun. What will you say? Ismu? Ismu who? Abdullahi. Got the idea? Aminatu fil gurfati. Wa ummu ha. Fil matbakhi. Fine. Aishatu tabibatun. Wa ukhtu ha. Mumaridatun. Kharaja Muhammadun min al fasli. Wa kharaja maahu zami luhu. You cannot say zami lihi. It has to be zami luhu. You know why, brother? Huh? Okay, this is a tough thing. Write down, brother. Kharaja maahu zami luhu. Are you writing? Kharaja maahu. Zami Luhu. Maybe I should write down on the board, brother. I'm taking five minutes extra today, brother, so that, uh, inshallah, we can start tomorrow from a certain place. Kharaja Ma'ahu Zami Luhu. Brother, it is tough. This is a tough question. But I want to test your knowledge, brother. What is kharaja? Fail. Fail. Huh? Huh? And the kharaja, when it comes, it means if there is a file, it has to be a masculine. Huh? It has to be masculine. Fine. So it's a jumla failure. Is it jumla failure? Yeah. We want to find out where is the file. Read the whole sentence. She said, Arifa, where is the file? File is always marfu. In this case, no, you, you have to think, is it mustatir? No, it is not mustatir. Huh? So where is the file? Huh? Zami lu. What is who? Mudafilahi. Sister Maina, what is this, sister? Mudaf mudafili. Are you with me? This is mudaf mudafili. Huh? So, mudafilah is majroor. This is this is marfu. Are you with me? So, what is maahu? Zarf and mudafilah. This is out. Huh? So then, kharaja the file is zamilu hu. So change it now. Bring the file closer. What will you say? Kharaja zamilu hu maahu. Are you with me? If you brought the file closer, it becomes very easy to understand. Are you with me? But in the Quran, sometimes the file will come after a kilometer away. But then we have to watch the whole sentence to figure out. Huh? So here it is kharaja, fail, ma'azar, hu, mudafilehi, zamilu, file, wa huwa mudaf, and mudafilehi. Got the idea? This is done. I got two more minutes. Okay. Now, question number three, brother. You have to give five sentences from your own composition, and the answer should be Nam Hindi. Will you be able to do it at home? We'll be asking you a question. Aindaka Sayaratun, you will say Nam Hindi Sayaratun. Aindaka Daftarun, Nam Hindi Daftar. Aindaka Kitabun, Nam Hindi Kutabun. Are you with me, brother? Okay, 
you will make five sentences. Okay, brother? 